We're back on the Big Logan channel here, Mountaineer Van Works, with your host, Big Logan. What is up, guys? Thanks for clicking in and watching today. So we've got seven weeks of progress now on Project Roxy here. Uh, we've got three weeks left to get her done. Check her out. Ah, we've got some interior work going in, final finish cabinetry, plumbing, and uh, we are on the downhill descent for this project. So it's gonna be a 10 week build. Next video you guys will see from me will be Roxy's van tour video. So we're gonna cover all the stuff we got up on the roof, some added on accessories there, as well as uh, talk a little bit about what we've got going on in the shop. So uh, actually I might as well just talk about it now. We've got heating in here for the winter now. So nice big 20,000 BTU gas furnace. So we're gonna stay nice and roasty toasty and finish out this build bring in all the other builds here that are coming in for this winter and spring and summer. We are slated with four projects that are gonna keep me going at least through June. So lots of stuff shaking on the Big Logan channel here at Mountaineer Van Works. You guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting. Let's get Roxy's build update started. Oh, oh, we're on. Yeah, we're oh, on. Okay, good deal. Big Logan Channel. Shout What's out. up? Brother John Boy. Brother John Boy's How here today. Doing? Oh, yeah. So, John John helped me put on the uh, roof rack and the awning for Roxy. So, just so happens that he shows up here today to do a little office work, share my office space. With Van's me, looking so. right. Van's looking Got right. Some lucky buyers out here. That's We're right. Take you guys through it. Awesome accessories up top. We're going to demo today. All righty. Yeah, so uh, let's get really quick into pulling the awning out. We'll start there and then we'll work our way inside the van. All right, so there is the Fiamma F80S awning you can see your brand right there this is the all black exterior with what they call a gray fabric so it's got a little bit of um, blacks whites all monochrome but yeah that is her this thing measures about 11 and a half feet as you can see she doubles the space of all the living quarters. We got Vanna White, John Boy over here. Yeah. This can actually be put on both sides of the van if you would like future clients. That is correct. So one you know, thing. On side, modular. Yeah, so it is modular. One thing to show you guys is that we've incorporated the Fiamma brand roof rack here too. So it's rated for 300 kilograms, roughly 600 pounds. We got our WeBoost antenna up top here. But if you guys notice, the brackets are symmetrical along the top of this van. So, you could potentially put an awning on both sides. So, um, also we got our CR Lawrence T vent window dropped in here. If you guys remember me giving you an update on the framing episode while we had that roughed out, was to get that beauty in there. So, great little upgrade. Ties in well with the uh, revised layout, our second layout option that we do on these vans. And yeah, so John's got us opening into the beautification of the rear utility base so we're all wired in here shut off switch got our lights in and our roof upper cabinets new addition here sorry about the blinding light is a nice kind of bookshelf is what we're going to call this piece throw your laptop up there extra storage so now we have overhead cabinets running down the length of both sides of the van um, turn on the cargo light down here reveals your roadside emergency kit or tire inflation system and an exterior outlet. So that's the ARB compressor we talked about also in the week four update. She's wired in, tested, working good. We're gonna keep moving in now. We've got all our plumbing wired in and we've got all our lithiums in. Everything is uh, tested, good to go. And uh, next up is our control panel to fire up the remainder of the systems. And moving right over here are our frontward oriented chair cubbies. So elevated false floor right here with additional storage. I'll pull that drawer out here in a second. But just wanna show you guys um, kind of the convertibility of this space. So two swiveling captain's chairs, 
We got the two seat boxes nestled right beside the CR Lawrence T-Vent window. Made sure we measured enough headroom clearance here underneath the overhead cabinets. We got our dinette table lighting in and our butcher block countertop light that'll be over the refrigerator that lives back here. So still have yet to work on that and the kitchen galley. You guys have already seen the kitchen galley and shower pan solution. John's pulling out our massive storage drawer here. Throw some shoes in here. <laughs> Is that your favorite part of the chair oh, boxes? Yeah. yeah, it's great. So we have that on felt pads. So this is just a very simplified drawer. Um, no reason to overcomplicate that. Very and clean. I think it'll live in there with a good bit of weight without rattling out. Very clean. We got our storage cubbies that'll live under the chair cushions. So very deep cavernous. These are 20 and one quarter inch tall by 22 and a half wide. So very big boxes there, both sides. Obviously our roof planks are up. Got a nice gray and black stripe. Then we got our Webasto gasoline cabin heater in there and trimmed out. It's looking really clean, so. That's really the majority of the update here at the shop. We've got some cool things shaking this year. Project Nova is delayed due to the manufacturer supply chain. So that project won't start till about April. We have a very interested client in pre-purchasing that build. Uh, we, we scooted in in front of that here starting in January timeframe, Project Nora. Nora is gonna be a white van and uh, going to a great client in Seattle. So we've got a reboost up top. We've got our Fiamma rack. And uh, I think we need to play real quick, integrating that lovely rack system with, yes. with our boy John Boy. We took a time lapse. Smooth as silk. Smooth as silk, yeah. Um, goes on great. This is a rock solid system. The Fiamma awning and roof rack combo is now something I'm definitely going to uh, promote as a great upgrade. You guys can see all that space there. It's just awesome. Alrighty, so that went on like a breeze. This is 100% uh, all aluminum. Same thing with the housing for the Fiamma awning itself. So rack and awning, like I said again, 300 kilograms of payload. The rich solar panels, two 200 watts of those for 400 watts total, uh, can be moved forward and back to a lot for a rooftop AC if that's what you choose. You don't have to choose that AC right out the gate. If you choose upgrade down the road, no big deal. All this stuff is kind of modular. It could get moved around to a lot for the space. Um, I like the uh, lift on this too. A lot of good airflow. Keep these solar panels running efficiently. And uh, yeah, we got our two roof vent fans up here and our operable B boost antenna now. So another quick shot of the awning from up here. And you can lower one of these legs to drain rainwater, pick a corner. John is going to demo demonstrate that. So there you go. And it doesn't have to be anything extreme. John, how tall are you? 6'1". John 6'1", and even with the good kind of rain drip edge, he's still underneath there and comfortable. Spacious. It's the beauty of the awning starting at roughly nine feet up on top of the van. So I'm 6'5". I'm cruising around here, no big deal. So that's why they call you Big Logan. That's right. <laughs> well guys, that's a wrap for this seven week update. Uh, we're gonna conclude the build with this video. Um, I got a shake to get this done for our client by December 3rd. So the next video you're gonna be seeing of Foxy Roxy is her 100% done, all shined up, waiting for our client, and we're gonna do a nice van tour video. So you guys, as always, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the Big Logan channel and Mountaineer Van Works, we've got our merchandise up online. That's linked below. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Check us out on Instagram, smash that like button, comment below. We'd love to hear your feedback as always. We'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.